Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to Playing Games. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play Married Couple Briscola. Let's go. Could you do me a really big favor and like, subscribe, and comment? I'll owe you one. So we've played Briscola on this channel before, and I highly encourage you to check out those videos and get the ground rules down. And today we're going to play it with an Italian card deck, the Sicilian one, which is the best card deck. You can also use a 52 card French suited poker style deck. Make sure you take out the 8s, 9s, and 10s. So the general layout with Briscola is that it's a trick-taking game, and there's usually a high suit or a Briscola suit. Sometimes it's the sword, sometimes it's the club, sometimes it's the coins, and other times it's the cups. But the twist with the married couple version is there is no high suit, there is no Briscola suit when you start the game. However, if you have the horse and king of a certain suit, say swords, then you can declare that this round's Briscola suit, and you're rewarded with 40 points on top of that. The best way to learn is just to show you how to do it. So I'm here with my daughter and we're going to go play a round of Married Couple Briscola. Ellie's a great card player and this game is actually best played with two players in my opinion. You can play with a third player, make sure you remove a low card such as a two. You can also play with four players but there won't be as many married couples as you increase the size of the game. It's just more fun I think with two players you're going to get a better chance of getting a married couple and that makes the game more exciting. So the way we play is we shuffle the cards. And we have our opponent cut the deck. Okay. The dealer deals out five cards. In a regular Briscola, you deal out three cards to each player, but this will increase the chances of getting a married couple. So I'm going to give uh, five cards to each player. I've seen the Italians do it with like two, two, and then three, three. The every other style is very American, and you're totally welcome to do it that way. So we each have our five cards, and then we have the stockpile here to pull out more cards. After we play a hand, we each take a card, the winner gets the first take, and then the next person gets the next take. So we'll pull over the cards and we'll, we'll play this open-handed. You would not be playing this open-handed if you were playing with other people, but for the sake of showing you what we have, as you recall with Briscola, the ace is the highest card. Since there is no Briscola suit, this is the highest card in the club suit. So Ellie couldn't beat it because there is no Briscola suit to be higher than that card. Unless she has a married couple and can create her own Briscola suit. I have a king and a, a horse. Now, would this be a married couple? Well, it would be if they were the same suit, but we have cups and we have coins. They're not the same suit, so they're not a married couple in this game. I also have this card, and she's a jack or a fonte, so she doesn't get to partake in the married couple. It's only the horses and the kings. If this was a French suited poker deck, it would be the kings and the queens. In this sense, you're marrying the king with the horse person, so you have that. Now Ellie has a lot of clubs. She has a very high card. Three, remember three is the second highest card point-wise in this game. It's worth 10 points. The ace is worth 11. And she has a two. It's not a very strong hand to begin with. However, if she plays that three first, since there's no Briscola suit yet, she's likely to win those 10 points right away unless I had the Ace of Swords. What would you start with, Ellie? I'm going to start with the high card. Her highest card. So I look at my cards. I don't have a Briscola suit. I can't win that just with a, any Briscola card or high card. And I don't have a higher sword. So I have to just shed a card that I really don't care about, has no value. So I do that. So Ellie wins that card and puts it on a face down deck next to her. Those will be her points for the end of the game. And since she won, she gets to pick the next card. So right now, Ellie doesn't have anything of value, so she's got to be careful not to set me up for a card. So Ellie plays the two, and then I can beat that. I kind of have to beat that because I have a higher cups card. Four is higher than two. And remember, the, the cards go two, they skip the three, so two, four, five, six, seven, Fonte or Jack, Queen or Cavallo, King or Ray, and then it goes to three, which is kind of untraditional and then the ace is the highest card. So I won that, I'll take the next card. I have what looks like could be a promising married couple, but it is not a married couple because it is a Fonte or Jack, not a king. Hmm, that's a good card. The ace of cups. So I'll play my ace here. I know it's pretty invincible. There isn't a Briscola suit that can beat this yet. So you'll just trash a card and then I pick another card. Okay, so I won that last hand and I picked up a new card. It's a six of cups. 
and I'll play that. I could play one of these court cards, the king or the horse, and that might be a good idea, but not in married couple because I wanna save these just in case I can find their, their match, their pair. It's gonna be worth it, they're 40 points. The game has a total of 120 points for all the cards, so 40 is pretty significant in that, that's a third of all the points. I'm gonna actually set Ellie up here. I'll play this cups and then she can play her ace. That's 11 points right away. Good pick up there. I got the king of swords. So if I get the horse of swords, I can get 40 points, which would mean I got a married couple. Okay. And I can change the suit. All right, so do you- I'm definitely doing. <laughs> okay. Do you wanna play that king now? No. No, you don't wanna play that king. You wanna That'd save it. That would be the bad choice. That would be the bad choice. In this game, you wanna hold on to the kings and queens. All right. So you get to play, you you won that? My swords. Okay, so I pick up my next card. It's the three of clubs, that's a very good card for 10 points, but it won't beat swords. And I actually do not have a card that can win here, despite having cards much higher than the two. Ellie led with the sword suit and I can't beat that because I have not a single sword. So I have to get rid of one of my cards. I'm not gonna get rid of my king or horse in hopes that I get their pair. I'm not gonna get rid of my three, it's the highest card I have, 10 points. I'll get rid of one of the Fontes, it's worth two points, so I can deal with that. But you get the earnings there, and then you get to pick up another card. So you always have five cards when you start, so replenish after each turn, make sure you have five. Wait, what? This is the one and only horse of swords? And I have the king of swords? I could use this. Things are about to change. So Ellie does have a married couple here, she has the horse and king of swords, and they are a married couple. Let's pretend like we're closed hand again. So normally we would have our cards like this. I wouldn't know she has a married couple until she does what? Oh, she has a married couple, and she would say, no, I she... have a married couple! Now she wouldn't play those cards, or she could play one of them if she wants, she doesn't have to, but she has to reveal them to the table that she, you know, prove that she has a married couple. And she gets to get 40 points at the end of this round for having the first couple. And what else happens? The, the suit changes to swords because that is the suit of the, the queen or horse and the king. Correct. So now this is the Briscola suit. This is the high suit, the Barack suit. Nothing can beat this. So even though Ellie has the first married couple, the horse and the king of swords, if I were to get a match to my king of cups or a match to my horse of coins or another married couple, I could declare that as the new Breeze Close suit and it would no longer be swords, it would now be one of those suits. However, the point value for getting the second, third, or fourth married couple is only 20 per next couple. Now there are variations on this played in different regions of Italy. This is the way I play. If you've played it differently, just drop your rules in the comments and uh, I'd love to hear them. I know that it is not a universally uh, ruled out game. Now Ellie will take these back into her and we can go face up again, right there. And Ellie will now have that in her hand, knowing that when she plays a sword, it's the high suit and it's much harder for me to win a trick. All right, so you you get to go, Ellie. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to show you thanks for setting me up. <laughs> so despite having the high suit, she led with uh, clubs that time and I'm able to beat that with my three of clubs. So I get the points. I get to get the next card. I'm a little bit nervous now because I have only one sword card and I know she has two high ones there. So I can't just throw out an ace of another suit and hope to win anymore. I know that she can beat that with her high card, her briscola card. Now I should mention that you do not have to wait for your turn to declare a married couple. You can do it at any time whatsoever. It doesn't have to be on your turn, doesn't have to be before it, after it. It can be during another player's turn. It could be while you're picking up cards. That is a little bit unpredictable, but it makes the game kind of fun. I'll play my Bastone, my Styx card. It's worth two points. Uh, I'm trying to bait her to use her swords. Will she do them? No, she won't. She'll let me keep that. So I get two more points. Uh, uh oh, she should have used those swords cards because now I have a married couple. So the question is, should I use this married couple immediately? Uh, or should I kind of you save it for a moment when she thinks that she's got the upper hand and I can just declare it the new Briscola suit and, and win a high card? I am gonna wait for a second, I think. I have this Briscola card, it's the Jack of Swords. 
I'm gonna risk it. I'll put it out there, see if she's baited to taking it. So she took my jack. Good choice knowing what I have, but maybe you would wanna hold on to that if you didn't think the other player had another married couple coming up. All right, you won, so you get to pick the next card. You get to go, what are you gonna do? You still have the high suit. Okay, so I have a choice. I can reveal that I have the other married couple, the next married couple, and easily take this card, but it's only worth three points. I might just let her think that she still has the upper hand. Wow, I'm doing great. So Ellie gets the next card, and then I take a card. Oh, another good card, a three of coins. All right, so you get to lead. So she's gonna play another Briscola card. Now I'm in a tricky spot. I'm gonna have to reveal that I have the married couple because I would lose to that. It, remember spades is still the Breeze Glow suit until I change it. Um, and I could lose 10 points, 11 points, three points. And these are the married couples. I'm gonna say, ha ha, I have the next married couple. Cups. So I'm gonna use one of them to pick this up. Instead of losing points now, I, I gain three points. I won, I get to pick the next card. We each have five cards after we replenish. What neither of us would know, because we wouldn't be playing open-handed, is that she has the king of coins and I have the horse of coins. In our minds, we're thinking, hey, maybe I will get that other pair to the married couple, but we could just hold on to those cards to the bitter end and not know. I guess I'll play a coins card just to see what she's got. Oh, you're gonna beat it with that, okay. So she takes control here. You get the next card. Okay. Well, she did it again. Let's see. There is a third married couple. You can go through a whole game and not get a single married couple. You can get all four. In this case, we've already got three. We know we're not gonna get the fourth one between us here because we see this is open-handed and those are split. Now, Ellie has a choice. Cups are the current Briscola suit. They're the high suit. She could change that right now, or she could wait until I feel confident that she doesn't have a Briscola suit. Then she could take advantage of that. She does have a lot of clubs, which is very strong now because she knows she can change that. So what are you gonna do? Show it off immediately. Okay, she's gonna show it off immediately and that's a great choice because she's very strong in the, the club suit. And I'm pretty bummed because I was hoping to use my king of cups and I don't get to use that now as a Breeze Glow card. Also, since you won, you get to go first. And that's great for her because I can't beat that. So I have to give her a points card, whether I want to or not. I give her my lowest points card, the Fonte or Jack. Two points. All right, you get the next card. Oh, she's gonna continue playing there. I'm gonna give her my worthless two card. Oh, you have a good strong card there. It's the Ace of Swords, but that is not a Briscola suit, so you have to be careful when you play it. I still don't have any Briscola cards. I'm going to try this out and see how it goes. Okay, that's a very risky move there because I could have just the lowliest of clubs and take that. However, she's lucky I do not. I have nothing that can beat that. She led with swords, so only swords or a Briscola card could beat that. I have neither, so she wins the Ace there, 11 points. So cups, they were formerly a preschool suit. They are not, it's still clubs. And Ellie won, so she gets to go again. Oh, you're gonna use that? Okay. So there are only two cards left. She's testing to see if I have any preschool cards because I didn't last time. So it's not likely that I do now. And I in fact have cards of value. I'm gonna hold out hope that the king of coins is still out there in these last two cards. Uh, we all know that's not true. So I'll get rid of the other king. And so now we're out of cards. Now in traditional Briscola, that last card would have been a Briscola card. That's the one that sets the suit, but there isn't that in this case. So there's no final card. Now we just play the last five cards down until there are no cards. We do one for one until there are none. I'm going to test out your luck with swords. Well, I don't have a high swords card, so I'm going to give you this card. So you won, so you get to go again. There's no more cards to take, but she plays swords again, oh no. So I know that I'm, I don't have the king of coins, but I know that she does because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. When she plays that king of coins, I have two coins that can beat that and gain a lot of points. So I'm not gonna play those here. I'll just throw away the horse, give her those three points. Okay, so that's very tempting for me because I have a strong card that can beat that. It's the three of cups. 
and the three of cups is worth 10 points. So I will play that. However, now I have to lead. I play the lower of the two 10 points rather than 11. So you're gonna, and that's good for her because I get to play my 11 point card. Yeah, you always wanna save a Briscoe card for the end. Most players will keep a good card back uh, with hopes of earning it at the end. And I did, and she won that. So now what we do is we count our cards and find out how many points we have. Ellie has 40 points instantly for getting the first married couple and another 20 points for getting the third married couple. I have 20 points for getting the second married couple. So already she's starting with 60 points and I'm starting with 20. It's gonna be hard for me to catch up. So remember the Fontes or Jacks are worth two, the Horses or Cavalli are worth three, the Kings or Rays are worth four, the threes are worth 10 points and the aces are worth 11. I find it an easy counting strategy to be put all the, the court cards or face cards together and put the threes and aces together. Then you can count by tens and elevens. So 11, 21, 31, 41. I have three threes. Okay. So 41, two points, 43, three points, 46, four points, 50. So I have 50 points out of 120. Uh, my 50 points plus 20 is 70. And she has 70 plus 60 points, which is 130 points. So 70 to 130 points. She wins the round. We could play uh, best two out of three rounds, or we could play up to a certain point value. And a married couple, because there are more points you can earn, you might want that to be a higher number, like 250, 300, or even 500. This is such a fun game to play with family and friends, and I hope you try it with yours too. A big thank you to Ellie. She's an awesome player, and it's always a pleasure to play with you and even lose to you because you're such a good player. Brisco is one of my favorite games, and this is one of my most favorite versions of the game, so I really hope you check it out and uh, try it for yourself. Thanks again. You're great. See you next time on Playing Games.